and a very nice holiday. I've received a few emails and a few questions from people who are the proud new owners of a silhouette and this current silhouette, the Silhouette Cameo, is their first one. They never owned an SD or a Craft Robo or, or anything, so they're very unfamiliar with the software. So what I've decided to do is to make a few videos that are going to be just basic Silhouette 101 videos on how to do, use some more um, basic or more requested or more common features in the software. So as the title implies, this video is going to be about welding letters together. So the first thing you'll need to do to weld letters together, obviously, is put some letters on your cutting mat. So you can see my cutting mat is on the screen and it's blank. And to add text, what you do is you go over to the left-hand side of your screen and you select the A with the red cursor next to it. And if you hover your mouse over it, you'll see it says text. So I'm going to click it and now uh, I'll be able to put my cursor anywhere on my mat. So I'm just going to randomly click and it's blinking just like it would in a word processing program. So I'm going to actually type the name Kimberly for um, this project. I'm going to use it for vinyl to do some glass etching. So I already like the font that's there, but let's say that I didn't like this font. What I would do is I would double click and I would highlight the word or the name that I've typed, just like in a word processing program. And on the right hand side, you can see that my text style menu automatically opened when I started typing. And if in this box is all the, it, I shouldn't say all, it's the most of the fonts you have on your computer. So if I wanted to use brush, brush script, I would just select it. But I'm actually going to stick with that Bickham font that uh, initially popped up. So I've selected my font and I could change where it's orientated in the size, so on and so forth in this right hand menu. But I like the font that's there so I'm not going to change it. And I'm going to click off so I unhighlight what's there. Now if I click Kimberly on the screen, what you see happens is everything is connected together. But in order for me to manipulate each letter to connect them, I need to ungroup Kimberly into different into each individual letter. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see that the name is actually not connected. It looks connected when I'm zoomed out, but if you zoom in, you'll see that there's places where it's going to cut the tips apart and there's places where the, where the letters are not touching. Here is a very good example of where they're not touching at all as well as right here. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to right click and I'm going to ungroup these letters apart so I can manipulate each one individually. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little clearly, or a little more clearly I should say, each letter and I'm going to scoot it over so that the tails between them overlap. Now this particular font happens to weld together very easily. However, there are some fonts that don't have enough tail on them for you to be able to connect an entire word together. What you may have to do is connect the first half of the word or the first third of the word and uh, glue it down on your project so that it looks that it's like it's welded. But for some of these fonts with the tails, particularly fonts that print, looking like they're connected, it usually works. So I'm going to move my last letter over. It's the Y. And now you can see each letter is touching. There's these small oval in the tails. Now they're touching, but they're not welded yet. If I cut it out like this, it's just going to cut a circle on each one of these tails. So what I need to do is drag my mouse while holding it down, the left button, and select everything. And what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to select weld from that menu. You can also select it up here and I, I have a video showing what all these buttons do, but the quickest way is just to right click and then go down to weld. Your most common features are in this menu right here. So now that I've right clicked, if I zoom back in, you'll see that all of my letters are connected. Those little circles are gone. Now, 
when I select this part of the K here and this part here, they're not connected. And how you can fix that is you can select the entire image, you can right click and you can go to group. And this is important to remember if you need to move this around or perhaps you're making multiple um, cuts on the same sheet of paper or you're using a scrap. So now that I've grouped them together, I'm going to move it up to the top part of my page so it all moves in unison. I'm going to zoom out. And now I'm ready to cut. Now, earlier I did make a mention of there being a text size option here. You can use this, but you can also use the pull handles once you've grouped your word together. So once you've got it grouped, grouped, welded, and you like how it looks, go up to the top right hand corner of your screen. It's going to look like a pen with a little yellow bottom, and that is your cut menu, and you can send it to your silhouette and click cut and you're ready to go. So I hope this video helped some of you who were asking or wondering how to weld letters. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.